In this tutorial, I will show you how to make this monster face scrubby. If you would like to learn how to make this monster face scrubby, please join me in this tutorial and I will show you how to make it. So to make the monster scrubby, we're going to be using the Premier Washi yarn. And we're going to need three colors to make our scrubby today. We're going to use black, green, and white. Green is going to be the color of the face for the monster and then we'll need black for the hair and some accents and we'll need white for the eyes. So let's go ahead and start with our green yarn. We're going to be using a size H or 8 5.00 millimeter crochet hook to make our monster scrubby today. I'm going to start off with a slip knot. And then we're going to chain 12. Okay, so there are our 12 chains. And then we're just going to go ahead and work in rows now. So we're going to skip the first chain that's closest to the hook. We're going to begin our stitches into the second chain from the hook and we're going to do a single crochet. And then you're going to do a single crochet in each stitch across. Okay, so when you're done with row one, you will have 11 single crochets. Then chain one and then we're going to churn our work and then we're going to do one single crochet into every single stitch across. Okay, so you're going to do the same thing again. You're going to chain one and then you'll turn your work. And we're going to do this for an additional 12 rows. So we just did two rows, so 12 more rows, you'll have 14 rows. So we're making like a rectangle for the face for our monster scrubby. So I'm going to go ahead and put the camera on pause while I do 12 more rows of single crochet. So just remember when you get to the end of the row, chain one, turn your work, and then do your single crochets across, and just keep doing that until you have 12 more rows for a total of 14. Okay, so while I had the camera on pause, I continued to do 12 more rounds of single crochet. And I had already done two, so we have a total of 14 rows of single crochet at this point. And that is the face for our monster scrubby. So now we're done with the green, so we're ready to cut this yarn and fasten off with the green washi yarn. Okay, so now that I have the tails of the green yarn woven in, let's go ahead and make some hair for our monster. So we're going to use the black washi yarn. And um, this washi yarn is 100% polyester. Okay, go ahead and start off with a slip knot. Okay, we're going to join with a slip stitch that first single crochet of the last round. And then chain one and do a single crochet right back into that same stitch. And then into the next stitch, you're going to, rather than do a stitch into that, you're going to insert your hook into the stitch right underneath that to the previous round. And then insert your hook, pull up a loop, and then do your single crochet. So you can see where by inserting the hook down one row how it makes that elongated looking stitch. Now what you're going to do is do a single crochet into the next stitch and then you're going to insert your hook not into the, the stitch there but and then you see the row right underneath it well now you're going to go down to the third row because we want it to be even longer than that one. So rather than to the stitch insert your hook down three rows down pull up a loop and then stretch it up to be even with these other stitches, yarn over and pull through both loops. So that way you have like the little hair strands. It's perfect. Alright, so now 
insert your hook into the next stitch and do a single crochet. And then you're not going to insert your hook into the next stitch, you're going to insert it into the row just underneath that, into that stitch, pull up a loop, stretch it up to be even with these stitches, yarn over and pull through both. Okay, and then single crochet into the next stitch. Then we're going to do a single crochet. We're not, we're not, we're not going to insert our hook into this stitch or the one underneath it. We're going to go down two rows, so down to here. Insert your hook. So this is row 14, this is 13, so insert into the stitch that is row 12. And then pull up a loop, stretch it up to be even with those stitches there, and finish your crochet. So you can see how it gives like little bangs for the hair. Isn't that cute? And then insert your hook into the next stitch and do a single crochet. And then we're going to do the same thing where we're going to insert the hook in the row we're going to do the same thing where we're going to insert the stitch not in this row, but in the stitch right underneath it in row 13. And we're going to pull up a loop, stretch it up to be even with the stitches, yarn over and pull through both. And then do a single crochet into the last two stitches. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and chain one. And we're going to turn our work, and then you're just going to do single crochets, one single crochet into each stitch all the way across. Okay, so that's the last one. Okay, so this is the wrong side, and this is we're gonna chain one, turn our work, and this will be the right side. So now the bangs aren't very thick at this point, so we're actually going to do one more row, chain one, and start your hook into the first stitch and do a single crochet. And then here's where we did that elongated stitch. We're gonna actually do that again. So insert your hook right underneath that black stitch there. So you see where the hair is? Just insert your hook right back into that stitch. Pull up a loop, stretch it up to be even with that row, and do a single crochet. Then the next stitch, do a single crochet. You see where we um, inserted the hook down, further down into the previous rows? So you're gonna insert your hook right back into that same spot where you see that black strand of yarn. Insert your hook, stretch up the yarn, pull it up to be even, this round, do a single crochet. So you can see what that's doing. So you can see how it's making those bangs thicker, and that's perfect. That's what we want, because they would be too thin. I mean, you could leave it like that if you like it, but I like it a little bit thicker for the bangs. I think it looks nicer. Okay, so then the next stitch was a single crochet. And then you can see where we inserted the hook, so insert it right into that same space where that black yarn is. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, stretch it up to be even with the stitches here. Yarn over and pull through both loops. And then the next stitch will be a single crochet. And then you want to insert your hook right underneath where that strand of black yarn where we inserted it before. Your hook underneath right into that same stitch, pull up a loop, stretch it up to be even with this row, yarn over and pull through both loops. So you can see how nice that makes the hair look. Next stitch will be a single crochet, and then you'll insert your hook back into that stitch where you inserted the hook in the previous row, right there. Go ahead and insert it right in there. Pull up a loop, Stretch it up to be even with your row and do a single crochet. And then the last two stitches will just be one single crochet. Okay, and now we are done with our monsters here. So we're ready to fasten off. So let's go ahead and cut the yarn for the black yarn. And then we'll go ahead and pull that through. 
and fasten off and then we just need to weave those tails in i have the tails woven in so now we're ready to make some eyes for our monster's face so for the eyes we're going to use the white washi yarn so for the eyes we need to make two little circles for right here so we're going to start with a slip knot with the white washi scrubby yarn let's go ahead and chain four and that's four right there join with a slip stitch to that first chain and then chain one and do a single crochet into the center of the ring and then just do five more because we just need a total of six that's two three single crochets four five Six, and then do a slip stitch to the first single crochet okay so that's one eye done and then we'll just need to make a little black circle to go into the center of the eye okay so let's make our second eye so first I'm going to go ahead and pull that through to fasten off So that's going to be one eye. So do the same thing. We'll start with a slip stitch. And then let's go ahead and chain four. And then join with the slip stitch to that first chain to form a ring. Chain one. And then we're going to do six single crochets right into the center of the ring. That's one, two, two three, four, five, then start with a slip stitch and then we're going to chain four and then we'll join with the slip stitch to that first chain when we begin and then join with a slip stitch to form a little ring chain one and we're going to do six single crochets into the center of the ring one two three four five and six and then join with the slip stitch to that first single crochet and there you have your second eye and those are the white part of the eyes and of course we need a little um, black circle for the pupil of the eyes. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that tail through, fasten off. Now we need two little black circles with the black washi yarn. With that, with a slip knot, do three chain stitches and then join with a slip stitch to the first chain. And then you have a little circle or ring, and that will be the center of the eye. So it's just that simple. Very easy to do. Okay, so I'm going to cut the yarn here. And that's going to be... Okay, then we're going to pull that through to fasten off. So just pull that through until it ends. And then you have your little circle for the eye pupil. And it's going to go right in the center of the white part of the eye. And then let's make a second one. Okay. So once again, I'll show you that again. You just start off with a slip stitch and chain three. One, two, three. And then join with a slip stitch to the first chain to form a little circle, a ring. And then I'm going to cut the yarn and pull that through to fasten off. Pull the tail through until it ends. Give it a tug, and there is your little circle for your eye, for your second eye. Okay, so now we just need to go ahead and sew the eyes together. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to take my little black circle, and I'm going to center it right into that white circle there. I'm going to go ahead and insert that little tail through and then I'm going to sew it on 
to the white part of the eye. And then make sure that that black yarn tail goes behind the eye on the bottom because we're going to tie the two tails in the back so you won't see that. So then insert this into the needle and then do the same thing. Give it a couple of stitches here and just tie a couple of knots so it doesn't come undone on you. Okay, and then we'll cut those tails there. Okay, so that's one eye done. How cute is that? Okay, and just repeat for the second eye. So, okay, so now we need to sew on the eye. So let's go ahead and do that. So go ahead and find where you want to put it. So let's go ahead and thread the darning needle with the, one of the tails of the white yarn there. And find the spot where you want to put the eye. And then this is going to be the front, and we're going to sew it through to the back. If the thread, the tail becomes too short, you can just take a crochet hook and pull it through to the back. All right, and then just tie it a couple times. Make sure it doesn't fall off. Three times. And this is going to be the back side, so you'll see some of the white yarn that we used to stitch it on. But that's fine. Okay, and then we'll cut that. Do the same thing for the second eye. Okay, make sure that white tail goes to the back so you can tie it a couple times with that second one. So now we're going to insert the other tail into the darning needle and stitch that a couple times to attach the eye. So for the mouth, we're going to start off with a slip stitch, and we're going to do 10 chains, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and cut that tail and fasten off, and leave a good sized tail. Cut through to fasten off, and I left a nice long tail because we're going to sew it on. Take your tail thread it through. Then we'll just go ahead and sew right through the stitches. And just kind of sew right through the chains. Okay, so there's my monster's mouth. I think it looks cute. Okay, and there is your little monster face scrubby and now you can see that on the this is the wrong side so you're going to have some of the stitches there now if you don't like the way that looks I'm gonna hide those stitches behind there all you need to do is repeat the green section so do the same thing we did when we first started the face make 14 rows of single crochet and make a second green face and then repeat the part for the here and then just place that on top of the other one and just sew it on and just make it a double thickness so you'll have a backing of the head of the scrubby. So you can just do two of these before you do the eyes and the mouth. Where you do the green and the black, place it on top, sew it, so that way it hides that. And it'll just be a thicker scrubby. So you can do that, that's an option. You just need to make the little scar for his face. Where they have little stitches on there. So let's go ahead and cut a piece of the black washy yarn so we can make a little scar on his face and you could have placed you know if you want you could place the eyes down a little further if you want to make another scar above his eye and one on the cheek you can do is you know one or two however you want to do that you can even do like one above this eye if you moved it down and one over here okay so I'm gonna go ahead and thread up 
my darning needle with the black washi yarn. And then I'm going to put a little scar right there. So you kind of want to do an angle, a diagonal um, line. There is the straight line for the beginning part of the scar. And now we need to come back and do the little stitches for the scar. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the hook this way, the needle, and then do a little stitch there. That's one. And then another stitch here. And I'll do one more. Okay, and there's the little stitches for your scar. How cute is that? Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and just cut my tail in the back. For the nose, let's go ahead and do a slip stitch. Let's go ahead and chain. Three. One, two, three. Join with a slip stitch to the first chain to form a circle. Chain one, and we're going to do five single crochets into the middle of that circle. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you're going to join with a slip stitch to that first single crochet. And then we're just going to go ahead and cut that yarn to fasten off. And pull that tail through until it ends. Instead of having it on the right side, I'm going to turn it over. Because it's going to curl up a little bit and it'll stick out a little bit for the little nose. How cute. Okay, let's go ahead and sew that on. Okay, and then tie it in the back. And there's our little nose right in the center of the face. So how cute is that? So we are now done with our little monster face scrubby. I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial today. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And I want to thank you for watching today.